Now, she's said to have left some celebrities quaking in their boots after writing her first tell-all biography, which is due out in May and available to pre-order on Amazon, we want to say. Yes. And with the promises of uh, salacious stories, I think it's fair salacious to say. Salacious is a good you. word, isn't it? And uh, lots of celebrity secrets to come. Uh, Lizzie Cundy is here to just give us a little taster. There might be some quite worried people out there because you have, over the years, met a lot of celebrities, mingled with celebrities, been to parties with celebrities, overheard conversations yes. with celebrities. Um, has anybody been in touch to say they're concerned and who's in it and yeah. don't put me in it? About half of Hollywood, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there have some that have said, please don't put that bit in. Remember that? And I thought, oh, yeah, you've reminded me. That's a really good bit to put in. But some have asked, yeah, not to be in. And I've respected some of them, not all. And I've put others in because it's what's happening. It's my life. Why now? Because you've been doing this for a long time. You yeah. know, you're the red carpet queen and that's been your job. Yes. You know, with, with OK Television, you did a lot for ITV, red yeah. carpet. Um, so why now? I think, Ruth, I did the ITV Shirley Valentine show. Which and... I loved. Oh, thank you I so you much. you were all fabulous on that. Well, I was looking, searching for love with um, all these mm. mad characters. We were all together in a villa in Greece. But people that watched that show said, my goodness, you're nothing what I thought you were like. Because they think I... you're mad. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. I am slightly. And, and, and also you wear very little clothes. Well, so yeah. it's nice of you to dress up for us today. I've come as a, as yeah. a tangerine for you. But well, um, What's the philosophy of that when you're on a red carpet? I mean, you're always being snapped, Elizabeth. Yeah, I know. And, it, and people think that's a really glamorous lie oh, with yeah. ITV at the movies, as you said, oh. and OK TV. But it was hard work. But on the way, I've interviewed many big names, but also they've become my friends as well. And there's so many funny stories. I mean, my life's a bit like a carry-on movie. Yes. And um, you, end, you end up with, like, people in your boot. Who was that? You end up with oh. a celebrity, major celebrity in your boot, driving him round. I London. told you not to tell anyone <laughs> about that. I'm sorry. You in your boot. <laughs> it's out. I mean, it's, it's a big boot. <laughs> it was. Um, yeah, that was my dear friend, Mickey Rourke, because we'd been out for dinner, and suddenly there was all these... Um, Perhaps there's nothing going on, but we're just good friends. And he said, you know what, let's go out the back route. And I said, my car's out there, we can whiz off. And little did I know, the, the pap started running around the corner and he just jumped in the boot. And he said, go, just put the boot. So I just put my foot down, but um, took the corner a little bit too fast and then got pulled by the police. And obviously they <gasps> didn't know I had, you had a body Hollywood in the back. star in the boot of my car. <laughs> That's incredible. But, um, you know, there's many funny tales. Yeah. Well, um, tell me, from boots to bottoms, tell us about David Guest, who used to be married to Le Liza Minnelli. Yes. Uh, tell us about his bottom. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really rude. But David Guest very, uh, was a very good friend of mine. We know we've been friends for ages. And he wanted to get back onto TV. He said, how can I do it? I said, well, you've done The Jungle. How about Celebrity Big Brother? But he was, uh, you know, saying, I don't want to do it last minute. I'm not going in. So I actually went with him to the Big Brother house to make sure he finally went in. Anyway, that night, it's the early hours of the morning, I'm getting these pings on my phone. It's David Guest. I'm like, no, you're not supposed to have your phone in that big house. You know, you know mm. you're not allowed anything. And he's like, help, get me out. I don't like anyone in here. They're all idiots, you know, going through. If we don't, I was like, oh no. He's like, you've got to get me out of here. And I thought, God, what do I do? Then suddenly the text stopped. And I thought, he must be happy. But when he came out, he said, no, I'd hidden my phone in a place where the sun doesn't shine, but I forgot to take the charger. There was no room for it. So. <laughs> Well, so, um, all I can was... say, it must have been a very small <laughs> phone or a very big bum. I don't really... But bless it's... David. What bless David gets. Even when he was in that celebrity Big Brother house, he wouldn't leave me alone. Bless him. But, um, no, there are many funny tales from, yes. from good friends like yourselves. Well, the too. thing you use that term, good friends, I do have to say to you about Lizzie. Lizzie has this uh, public persona. And the thing is, she will have many good friends in showbiz because she's absolutely a lovely oh. person. You are a lovely person. Oh, and sometimes I think you. people may have an image of you that <laughs> doesn't relate to who you are yeah, it's true. In, in real life. And I think the reason you have so many celebrity friends, people trust you, they talk to you. They you're do. very human, you're very amusing as well. And she's full of gossip. <laughs> I do will, have we the learn, will we learn much more about you, the real Lizzie Cundy? Yeah. You said on the Shirley Valentine show, I think people saw you stripped down, well, not literally yeah. stripped down, but, you know, no makeup, talking about, you know, the collapse of your marriage, talking about, yeah. you know, your vulnerabilities, that you were a bit lonely sometimes. Yeah, I, I was that. actually, and I think I put a mask on with all the makeup, the hair, and the funny outfits. I was hiding a lot of pain, and I wouldn't wish divorce on anyone. I had a really tough mm. time. I'd, 
I was probably really low at times, didn't think I could go on, to be honest. And so there is a bit of the heartache. Um, but this, I'm hoping this book shows a bit of hope to other people going through maybe a bit what I've been through but and, and you, you know, you're going to you talk about back. one of the relationships that you've been through post-divorce, which yeah. was heartbreaking for you as well. Yeah, it probably... It really did break my heart, yeah. So I did fall for someone very badly, very quickly after my, my divorce. And um, it, it didn't work out, it was, you know, and it, it really did um, knock my confidence, and to be honest. And this is a, a well-known sports Yeah, he's a well-known sports star, and um, I, I really fell badly. And sadly, he didn't obviously feel the same way, and you can't make someone love you. Mm. And it, it really was pretty traumatic for me, but... Um, will you name... You know, I mean, I know you won't name him now, but will no. you be naming him in the I, book? Yeah, he's in the book. It was a big part of my life. It was on and off for four years, so... And does he know he's in the book? Oh, uh, yeah. He does now. <laughs> he will know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, he, he will. But, you know, it was a big part, and it was a big... Um, in some ways, it helped me get through my divorce, yeah. but in mm. some ways, it put me back, and I, I was quite low, and I know people see me on the red carpet posing, always with a smile. Well, you have to, don't but, you? Yeah, yeah, but, but it, I was, it was pretty tough, and at times, I, you know, I didn't really want to live at times. It sounds dramatic, yeah. but I really struggled. But, you know, I've got two wonderful boys, and the love's all my life, and, you know, life is great, never been better at the moment. Well, some people want to live and only want to live for that red carpet, and it has never ceased to amaze me in my professional career uh, what some people do. For instance, I, I knew someone who literally drove miles to go into town, to be photographed on a red carpet, and then not go to the event, get into a car and go back home again just to be photographed on the red carpet. <laughs> Would that be uncommon? No, that's, that happens all the time, Eamon, and people are obsessed with the red carpet. I mean, my mum said to me, do you carry a red carpet under your arm and always lay it out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, that does happen, but you, people love it. They think it's glitzy, glamorous. Um, it is at times, and I'm very blessed to do what Didn't I do. Did you bump into Tom Cruise once where he ditched you? Well, didn't have his own film. <laughs> well, Tom Cruise, I'd interviewed um, Tom on the, on the red carpet. He'd had a big premiere and often I just was with my son and I said, look, I don't really want to see this movie. I was hungry. I said, let's go for a bite to eat. Yes. Walk into the restaurant. There's Tom Cruise sitting there. <laughs> anyway, I, my son was holding a table outside and I walked in to go to the loo and Tom recognised, went, hey, the girl from the red carpet, come and join us. Okay. So I was like, my gosh, it's Tom Cruise. I ended up staying there for another half hour. My forgetting, my poor son was outside waiting for me <laughs> for the table. So he comes in to look for me, thinking, what's happened? Mum was only going to the loo. And there I am sitting with Tom Cruise and we ended up having the night together. So it was really good fun. One of the many, many stories and tales from the and red carpet. Well, Eamon's in my book, of course, because I, I adore him. He's my fave showbiz friend. See, see, and he's, he's written a lovely piece. Three lucky winners, if they pre-order the book on Amazon, the list gets sent to us and we're doing a choosing, oh. they can come to the showbiz bash. Lovely. I hope we're going to be invited anyway. Of to course. Yeah, um, what are you yes. saying for? You're the antithesis of red carpets. You wouldn't no, go. I don't. I hate You're coming to mine, I'll sneak in the back. I'll, come I'll be there. To I'm the king. Uh, the I book, love Tales that. from the Red Carpet, is released on own. May the 20th. And then all the women's magazines will say, Eamon's out on the town without oh, yeah. Ruth. Remember that Ooh. last one he went to? They had, like, different, five it's different... your birthday. Was it my birthday? It's my fault. It was my fault.